Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this press conference following the Orlando City and Houston Dynamo tied at 1-1. Orlando wins on penalties. We have Houston Dynamo coach Ben Olsen tonight. Coach, you want to start with uh, your feelings on the match? Yeah, no, I think we just tied them on the road. Uh, you know, it's you, you lose a penalty shootout, okay, but you, you get yourself a point and you live to fight another day at home uh, against a good team in Santos coming in. But if we win that one, I think we're in pretty good shape. Let's take questions from the audience here, and then we'll go to the Zoom call. Questions from the audience? Go ahead and raise your hand. Anything here local? Okay, good talk, guys. Easy. We got a few online, Coach, so not so, not so fast. <laughs> Let's go with David Garcia. David, David. Okay, hi, Coach. Can you hear me? Sure. Uh, just wanted to ask you, Coach, what are your – what do you think about next game? Do you know – you saw tonight uh, Achache and Coco have limited minutes. Would we expect them to be in the opening lineup, perhaps? Perhaps. Yeah. Perhaps you to – perhaps uh, towards uh, yes. No, it's nice. It's nice to have him and uh, Hector. They both, uh, you know, one left for a while, one left for a week, and uh, it was nice to have the gang back together. Uh, and, uh, you know, just, again, it increases our depth and, and you know, our options. Uh, obviously, they're, they're, they're you know, uh, pivotal to, to what we're doing here at Houston, both players, and uh, it was nice to get them a, a little bit of a blow today. And, um, yeah, I... I, I can anticipate them playing more minutes in uh, Tuesday at home. Looking forward to that match. Uh, we know it's, it's it's a very good team coming in town, uh, but we, we've we've played some pretty good stuff at home. Uh, the goal tonight was to get you know one, two, or three points, uh, so that you can uh, you know control your destiny a little bit when you when you, when you come home. Uh, we've got a quick turnaround, which because we're the lower one of the lowest seeds in the tournament, uh, we get the they get the rest, everybody gets the rest, and we get to uh, quickly turn around and, and play another match. So, lucky us. We'll go to Chago, Brendao. Chago. Can you hear me, Coach? I got you. Okay, good evening. Good evening today, Chago Brendao from Territorio MLS Brazil. There are some very strong information come from Brazil tonight, confirming that Sebastian Ferreira will be a Vasco da Gama player until the end of the year. The player might even believe in Houston, or are you still counting on him? I don't have any comment on that. Uh, I'm, I'm here to discuss the game, but I appreciate your question. Anyone else online or here in, in, uh, in person care to ask a question? Ben, just wanted to ask about your, your tactical approach uh, against Orlando tonight and how you feel the, the game plan was executed? You know, for the most part, it was um, it, it was okay. You know, what we uh, we planned to have a little bit more of the ball, and I, I thought it was a night where uh, we just didn't connect enough passes. Uh, it, at times, we're hitting the home run ball when uh, it's a hot it's a hot game, and I think we just cost ourselves a lot of work defensively. Uh, because we complicated the game. Or we were just a little bit off in the passing. Um, to a man, just wasn't a great night for us passing and connecting the game. And, and when you can't do that, you can't go the other way. And uh, But we had opportunities. They had opportunities. I think it was, you know, they, they probably certainly had more down the stretch in the second half. I think we got tired mostly because we couldn't deal with the ball and, and hold on to uh, longer possessions. They did a little bit better of a job than that, and that added up throughout the game. However, uh, we, we held the fort well. You know, we, we made some saves. We uh, defended the box well, defended some of the set pieces. So it's not easy coming on the road in the MLS. You know this. And, and uh, to come here and get a tie, uh, I'm proud of that. It wasn't our best night soccer-wise, but uh, we still, on nights where we're not playing at our best uh, and, and we don't have our full, full group out there, uh, it's still nice to get a point. 
Eh, Coco, pues su primer partido eh, con el equipo desde que regresó con la selección, ¿qué saca de ese resultado y cómo se siente pues, estar con el grupo una vez más? Bueno, yo creo que, que buenas sensaciones en los pocos minutos que, que jugué, eh, muy contento de estar de vuelta con el equipo y bueno, a conectarme lo más rápido posible para, para aportarle al equipo lo que sea necesario. Hablando de eso, ¿cuáles son las claves por lo que viene este martes contra el primer, contra este Club Santos, el equipo mexicano eh, que vamos a ver por este martes allá en Shadow Energy Stadium? Bueno, jugamos en casa, creo que hay que sacarle provecho, proponer muchas ocasiones y como sea sacar el partido. Tendremos dos o tres días para preparar el partido y, y afrontarlo de la mejor manera.